So I have a lot of friends that don't have farms, and they're all from the city, because I used to live in the city. And they're like, what do you do on the farm? And I'm like, well, so far we don't make any money. <laughs> and we are renovating, and we're building infrastructures for our animals, and also working on the yard, because the, this land has been left on its own for so many years that there's so much work to do, like drainage, there's um, mowing down the brush, it's, there's just so much to do, okay? Fences and whatnot. And sometimes I post on my Facebook and they're like, oh, what are you doing? And like last year, I was greasing the excavator and oh my gosh, it got me thinking, it's like one of the worst jobs that I hate doing. Like I don't mind getting dirty, no don't get me wrong, like, I'll go in the gardens and I'll, I'll get dirty, like, all the way up to my head, and I don't mind. But, man, grease, <laughs> grease is just like a never-ending, I hate it. Anyways, and I mostly do it because I operate this thing a lot, and I use it, I don't know how many hours in the summer. Even, I even used it this winter, and I had to get it out of the snow because... We were uh, milling some wood, and anyways, long story, that'll be for another time. I went under the tractor as well, because Ben has a bad back, and I went to grease all the grease pins on here, and as a woman, I'm, I'm limited on things that I can do because I lack of brute force. Just like yesterday, I was changing the oil with Ben on the excavator, and we had a plug on the motor down here to drain the oil and it was uh we, we had to change it because it, we stripped it I, it was i stripped it first because i grabbed onto it and pulled it with the with the with the key and yeah i completely stripped it so i guess i didn't lack power but to initially finish it off i locked it and then also when i came to take off the filter which is right here, I do have the tool to take it off, right? But I was lacking force to unscrew it. So Ben helps me a lot with that stuff. And, you know, it kind of sucks because I do a lot. I even go fell trees with Ben with my chainsaw, and I help him around the farm a lot. But sometimes I just have to stop and go get Ben for help because... I just I just lack and that sucks as a woman on the farm because you know when I'm in the 21st century I ask Ben to help me with the dishes help me with the foods help me with the kids but I have to step up and do the men work as well right so yeah it's not easy sometimes but yeah I just I just got the job done today at least so I brought my horses in today because they were all shivering outside. It was like wet snow, rain, sleet. I hate it when that happens. We don't have a proper shelter for them outside, so I just bring them in in those times. I sold my baby goats. They're going to be leaving this weekend. Yeah, here's Pony. Yeah, so I sold my, my two little babies. I don't know if you can see them. Hi. So they're going to be leaving. We figured we had just too much work to do. And I put them on, um, like, sort of like Craigslist here. It's called Kijiji. And um, they sold right away. So I'm really happy. Some lady from New Brunswick is coming to get them. She's about a six hour drive. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy that they're going to be going to a good family and just to accompany her goat and uh, just, just for fun. She's got like a little hobby farm. So yeah. Anyways, just wanted to share my task of the day. I still have this one to do. But I'm going to go in and take care of the kids and go eat some lunch because I'm starving. <laughs> so have a good day. Bye.